Algo AMM is an automated prediction market maker on Algorand. The application allows you to trade on the outcome of events and follow the odds to garner accurate insights about the future. Users buy or sell voting shares, which can be redeemed for one unit of the stable asset. If the outcome is resolved as correct, otherwise it becomes worthless. Here is a quick demo of the application. So first we connect to the wallet. Once you've connected to the application with your wallet, you can swap stable coins for a voting share. So for example, you can swap 0.02 stable coins for um, 0.019 units of a yes voting share which you could redeem for double the amount or approximately or for stable coins. So here you can actually see that we are transferring 0.2 USDC on testnet and we call the application. As you can see, the odds have changed and the reserve changed as well. Also, we've also displayed the transaction, which you can actually follow and just observe the, what happens with the transaction with the Log Explorer. So here is the transaction uh, group ID. You can actually see that we've uh, called this application. And that the amounts are exactly as were displayed. As a liquidity provider, it's a difficult choice to find a balance in, um, in a pool and um, make a decision whether to provide liquidity. Um, for this type of pools, it's a good strategy to aim at, um, to look at the odds and see um, if the odds are uh, balanced out. So essentially, if the if uh, there is a balance, you will make um, a fee, and uh, you would be able to accrue some interest. So here is the um, here is an example of how you would provide, um, for example, 10, 10 USDC to the pool. the transaction has occurred and you can also see the console and check the transaction so here is the group ID and so we've supplied 10 USDC for um, for this amount of liquidity tokens
withdraw USDC for liqu for liquidity token. So, for example, for uh, for ten uh, liquidity tokens, you will get um, nine point nine USDC. So now we will go to the smart contract repository and go over the PyTL contract. With the help of PyTL and PyAlgorand Py SDK, we wrote the smart contracts. The front end is actually written in Vit and it's available at um, Algo AMM front end. So just um, as an overview, um, we have a constant function automated market maker contract, which provides configuration options and creates a market for an event that has a binary outcome. Uh, the liquidity pool provides a foundation for users to purchase and redeem spawn tokens once the event has been resolved. The liquidity pool supports a constant reserve ratio for stable price discovery and protection from liquidity drain. The liquidity provided allows to spawn two tokens in equal amount in 25-25 proportion of the liquidity supplied. The purchase price for each token is determined by a linear equation x plus y equals k where X is the amount of A tokens in the AMM and Y is the amount of B tokens in the AMM. Once the event has occurred, the price for each token should reserve uh, to one and zero for another, depending on the outcome of the event. Liquidity shares and voting shares can, on can only be released after the creator of the contract mo moderated the outcome. Requirements for for this repository are VS Code or another ID Python three um, we used in this repository three point ten uh, package manager pip by Algorand SDK and PyTL as well as Algorand Sandbox or you could connect to Algorand Node with Pure stake. So PyTL is a Python library for generating TL programs. PyTL is used for writing smart contracts on the Algorand blockchain. To interact with smart contracts, the Python SDK will be used to compile and deploy the PyTL smart contract code. So first we set up uh, Python virtual environment repository on our local machine. Uh, this is the requirements txt where uh, we store the libraries of our environment. Uh, we have an uh, nv file where we store environmental uh, variables. So here's the example. Here is essentially the private key of an account. To deploy the contract and uh, here is the token of for the indexer to connect to the indexer in the AMM folder we have um, files to deploy the contract to create an account to create assets to moderate um, the, uh, the, the event. And we have also the utilities. So PyTL contracts are written in Python using any edit, 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 editor of your choice. The PyTL smart contract consists of two programs. These are called the approval program and the clear program. In PyTL, both of these programs are generally created in the same Python file. The approval program is responsible for processing all application calls to those contracts, with the exception of the clear call. 
which we implement in the clear program part. The GitHub repository, you can find the contracts under AMM contracts folder. We have um, imported into the AMM by the config variables. So we will go over these config variables. Um, the creator key is essentially the bytes that are stored um, after we deploy the contracts to identify the creator of the contract. Um, we also store the result bytes that we will declare after the event is, um, has occurred to resolve the contract. Um, the contract is also stores token funding key, essentially the stablecoin ID. We store the amount of the stablecoins, we store the pool funding reserves, which are essentially to protect um, the owners of the voting shares. So here are the tokens that are created after we deploy the contracts of uh, pool, uh, essentially liquidity pool tokens, uh, one option tokens, keys and reserves, and another store the minimal incremental uh, basically the minimal amount of tokens that are that the user can provide and uh, the default amount of uh, tokens created .py is the main file of our contracts uh, that contains the clear program and the approval program The main conditional of uh, the approval program is this conditional. Um, when we deploy the contract, we first call on create method, on create part on the contract. We store the creator key. Um, we store the token funding key, the minimal incremental key, uh, minimal increment key. We put the token funding reserves, pool funding reserves, as well as result. After that, the contract will follow the main conditional. And depending on the argument provided, it will call a certain method. So for example, on setup, contract calls get setup. The contracts checks whether the same whether the application with the same ID was created previously. We also check if uh, there are actually pull tokens outstanding. In case there are some pull tokens outstanding, uh, we, we will not be able to set up the contracts. We also create pool token, we opt, on it, we opt in into this pool token, we create no token, create yes token, and opt in into them as well. In this contract, we also have supply, withdraw, swap, and redeem, as well as the result methods. Here is the supply method. First, we validate the tokens received. Then we means and send pool tokens. On swap methods, we follow a very similar procedure. 
but the uh, user also needs to provide um, an argument whether he purchases whether he or she purchases by yes yes tokens or no tokens on withdrawal methods we check uh, we again will validate and we provide the token on result is essentially we input the ID of the winning token and after that you could um, redeem these tokens what stops us from uh, redeeming the tokens earlier is that if there is no result value you will not be able to to essentially validate the token received we have uh, the validation under the helpers.py file and uh, here are the validation and other methods